welcome back to my channel. So this week's vlog is a little bit shorter. Um, I tend to ramble quite a lot and I've promised myself that this vlog I will not ramble. I'm going to get straight to the point and I'm just going to cover off what we need to. Um, if you want to hear me ramble about the bands and why I bought them and what I think of them and the different bands that I use and what you get in them, the last vlog is for that because this is going to be short and sweet. So um, last week we covered the upper body for the resistance bands and this week as I advised last time we're going to do the lower body. Um, I do use the bands mainly for upper body work but there are some good moves that you can do on the lower body. Um, more with the thicker bands, um, you can use them with the thinner bands as well, it's whatever takes your preference. Um, a lot of people buy um, the booty bands so you can get like the booty bands which are a bit smaller um, for the glute work but I do find that if you um, kind of triple loop these ones um, and then wrap them around your thighs it, it works just the same so um, it saves you buying a booty band as well um, I'll put the link for these bands in the description box down below um, but yeah there's not really much else to say really um, we'll just get on with the video and you can use the moves from this video and last week's video to combine and make whatever workout you want to. Why did I just do a thumbs up? That was weird. That was so weird. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> For the skaters, wrap the band in a loop three times and then pop this round your thighs. Walk across the room, stepping your right leg out and your left leg in and then back the other way. For the squat, place both feet on one end of the band and the other end around your neck. Squat down, pushing your knees out and onto the sides of the band. The larger the band, the harder the resistance. For the good morning, take the same stance you did for the squat with both feet on one end of the band and the other band around your neck. With a slight bend in the knee, hinge at the hip. This is great for the hamstrings. Standing glute kickbacks give you a really good burn in the glutes. Stand with your hands on the wall and the band around one foot and kick your leg out behind you. Keep your legs straight. With the single leg stands, place a chair in front of you, the band under your foot on the chair and around your neck. Stand up using only one leg and try not to bounce off the floor. Glute bridges are another great glute burner. Fold the band in half and place both loops under the heel with the band across your hips. Raise your bum in the air and squeeze tight at the top. Kneeling glute kit backs are similar to the standing glute kit backs. Place the band under both hands and around one foot and kick back behind you. The lunges are pretty self-explanatory. Place one end of the band under your foot and the other around your neck and lunge. With the frog pumps, wrap the band in three and around your thighs, place your feet together and raise your hips in the air. For the crunches, pop one end of the band around your neck and the other around your feet. Keep your feet and shoulders off the ground and bring your knees into your chest. For the kneeling hip abductors, you want to place the band around your thighs three times again on all fours and lift your knee out to the side. So those are my moves using the resistance bands for the lower body. Um, I'm actually filming this while editing it because I've realised I didn't actually like close off the video at all. Um, so yeah, I'm filming this like literally just before I post it really. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. It's something that you can just combine with the um, video that I did last week. Uh, you can take the moves from both and do a full body or you can just um, take the moves from each video and kind of keep them separate and um, focus on specific parts of the body on each day. Um, I kind of mix it up in the week and I try and focus on different areas. I don't really cover a whole body workout using the bands. Um, I'll just do like two or three movements a day um, and I do find that they really, really work. Um, and help build that muscle when you maybe haven't got access to a barbell or dumbbell or whatever you normally use. Um, so yeah, I find it really good. Um, like I said, I'll put the link down below so that you can buy the bands yourself. Um, it's probably um, something that I would advise and would, um, I would say it's probably one of the better purchases that I've made during lockdown and I've purchased quite a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah, definitely something that I recommend. 
Um, if you do have a go at it and you do find that it works for you as well, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like. Um, and thank you all so much for watching. See you next week. Bye.